Not everyone can be charismatic, radiate light, and make people happier simply through the art of singing. It is a natural gift. A striking confirmation of that is the hero of our today's program, Umberto Sarmiento, whose effulgence has always been easy to see. For the past few years, the hero of our program has become widely known in Kazakhstan's world of music. Today, he is known not only as DJ Umberto, but also as the vocalist and director of a musical band. A unique style of music played by the band is given by features of the culture of our hero's native country, Cuba. Cuba represents a centuries-old mixture of cultures of different ethnic groups and combination of various traditions. Umberto, please tell us about features of the Cuban culture and those traditions that were maintained and maybe still are maintained in your family. Cuban culture uh, is a uh, so big one because uh, we have a culture from China, from Africa, from Spain. Now we have uh, a lot of tradition in Cuba. The first one is uh, Sunday. All Sunday in Cuba is like family Sunday, you know? All friends and, and people meet and prepare some food. We speak about, we play domino. It's our game in Cuba. It's so happy when you meet with your friend and uh, somebody uh, on Sunday, big day for us. Cuban people, uh, they, they like, they love uh, dance, 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 dance. Really, every time, everywhere. In Cuba, we keep tradition in Kyushu, African Kyushu, Afro dance, because uh, we have uh, blood, African blood. But even me, I think that I have uh, African blood, youth blood, because uh, from my father, I have uh, African, African blood. From my mother, I have a youth blood, because it's uh, from Spain. I think the Cuban people is a uh, mixed people, yes, from character, uh, from health, uh, from mind, and uh, everything. It's good. We love uh, meet from people. We, we love uh, invite people of our country. Not only to our country, to our home. We love uh, the life, you know. Doesn't matter how many problems we have. We only dance, 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 and feel the life, really. The hero of our program likes to cook and please his family, as well as his friends, with culinary masterpieces. Although Umberto can easily make any Kazakh dish, he happily familiarizes his guests with the Cuban national cuisine. And what character traits were you endowed with? Sometimes uh, my karate is so hard, and even teacher was crazy with me. And every week called my mother and said me, please stay your child and your boy and go out because really we cannot. Every time make some noise. My dream uh, is, was like a leader, you know? I was uh, a clone. <laughs> Every time at the school, I say some funny or something that people uh, pay attention to me. I learned about 10 or 11 school in my life. All the school send me go out, go out, go out. One year and go out. Umberto really is so hyperactive, but it's good. I think that is good because thanks to my hyperactive, uh, I give my passion on the stage uh, for people. But I love and I like discipline in all my life. Uh, for my group, uh, for my child, for everything. I like discipline. It's like uh, work in my life. I have one anecdote. I have a lot of anecdotes and history. Even when I had um, eight years or whatever, I make show in my family, you know? Uh, I have a sister, a little bit brat, a little bit sister too. We make a show for my grandmother and my grandfather and aunt, uncle and everybody. And even we sell tickets, you know? We make like a focus or something, we sing a song. This time my grandmother uh, saw that I have a talent for making artists, for making not only musicians, like animator, how they smile, even when I was a child. And she said, every time you're going to be a big artist. Umberto's passion for music began at the age of nine. He was eager to learn how to play different musical instruments, and he was keen on rapping as well. However, over five years, our hero was also engaged in such sport as table tennis. Although Umberto's father, master of sports, was a musician in the past, 
still he objected to his son's wish to pursue a career in music and hoped that one day Umberto would become a sportsman. I'd like the sport, but uh, I want to be a musician. So uh, it was a little bit conflict between us. In this time, I don't know why. After, I, I, I know that uh, he doesn't want that I take this career because he was afraid. This is a little bit dangerous world. But uh, I think that uh, musicians, for men or whatever you are, if you are a good boy, uh, you have your rules and you have discipline. You can do it, no problem. Did you manage to make him change his mind? When I had uh, 16 years old, a uh, big championship in Cuba about DJ. I won uh, the second hours, but for me it was uh, very nice because I was so younger. My sister too won the third or fourth place. He didn't know that uh, <laughs> we play in this championship. After we come to home with diploma, and everything say, what about this? We were there, uh, now we go to the school, professional school, uh, so it's our partner. He was so proud. Uh, so after this one, he started to support us. My sister too, because my sister is DJ too. <laughs> he became like a producer. You need, you need, you need to practice. If you wanna be, you need to be the best. He understood uh, that it was our career, our way. In addition to training in the professional DJ school, at the age of 19, Umberto gained work experience in China. And having returned to Cuba, he founded his own musical group. And what pushed you to develop your talent for singing? Oh, <laughs> good question. <laughs> I remember that when I started to make our band, yes, you need to, to go to the audition. It's like if you are a professional jury. I start to say, ah, oh, whatever. This guy says, stop music, please. Who tell you you are a singer? Who tell you? Tell me. Your father, your mother. Say me. You never will be a singer. Really. I don't like your voice. You good rapper, good MC, good animator, but you no singer. But I think that in this moment, I need it. Because uh, I need to grow up more and more and more, I, I need to learn. This time, I think, uh, maybe I think, we are the best, we don't need teacher, we don't need learn, we make our music. Uh, no, it's, it's not. It's a professional tell you. It's like this, it's discipline. This time, really, I was angry, but after, no, after one year, we make again audition, and these guys said, oh, I think that uh, you have learned. Yes, now you better, yes. And I ask him, now, can I sing or not? <laughs> Say me, yes, you can go to. Our hero's flamboyant personality attracted attention of producers from Kazakhstan, who subsequently offered him a job in an Almaty club, which 10 years ago was the first to contribute to the development of Latin American culture in this country. There, Umberto was improving his skills in DJing, developing the acquired knowledge of sound engineering, and later he got into singing. Besides, in the club, the hero of our program met his future wife. He was a uh, translator, an animator too. We worked together on the stage. He's from Taras, and she's half Kazakh, half uh, Cuban girl. Her mother is from Kazakh, her father is from Cuba. So I think that the, the history repeats now. <laughs> One of the things that always impressed me about him was that he supported me all the time and said that I could do it and that he also saw a potential in me. And as a man, he made an impression on me, having said, we will get married. And I said, but you haven't even asked me. And he goes, do you mind? To which I responded, no, I don't, I agree. So what I find attractive to me about him are his self-assurance, confidence and positive mood. As a husband and father, he is wonderful. In this regard, there is no claim on him. He is a really good father, but he indulges the child too much, since he loves him dearly. So how is your band formed? And how did it happen that your wife became a soloist of the group? My friend invited 
to his wedding and he said you need to sing two songs one of these need to cast a leg with said, how can I do it we start to learn uh, with my wife but not like a professional it's only like a was like a gift we were there in the wedding we start people start to dance and when people listen the part in Casa language, it was like a really crazy and was so proud so people look at us like a professional duet let's go to do it like a professional band say okay what is the name people know me like a DJ Humberto okay let's do it DJ Humberto project the duet was formed in 2011 Later on, Humberto invited his best friend from Cuba to join the band as a vocalist. Working together is always rather hard, because we are public figures. Occasionally some conflicts arise while working or jealousy occurs. Usually we overcome all this, but sometimes we don't come to an understanding. He doesn't single me out. At work, he's entirely our director. Umberta is demanding of everybody, and himself first of all. But I don't take offense, since this is a work process. Nevertheless, we clearly divide our work life and personal one. Why I like her in this project? Because she's um, half a half, and her passion gives us uh, energy on the stage put Casa Cusher and Cuban Cusher. For me, it's, uh, I'm so proud for her here. Yeah. And for you, what is the most important thing in your creativity and work? And what difficulties do you have to face? In all group, all bands, is non-stop. You open your mind to make everything. Not only a Casa song, tomorrow you can make music with, whatever, with Chinese people or whatever. The most important put everything put the energy, your feelings, and your talent. Not only me, I'm director, but I know make only music. Everybody put, put a little bit of Umberto Project uh, sounds um, different uh, because it's a uh, different future. Uh, our last production uh, is a Kazakh song. It was uh, so hard to learn this song, Assalamu Alaikum. It was uh, only Kazakh no Latino, no nothing, English. I was learning this song for three months or more, I think. And the music and everything was about one year. We prepared one year as one song, but I think that we have now produced good produce. I think that people like it. Hmm, I hope. <laughs> Can you say that you have achieved everything you wished? Or maybe you have some more cherished dreams, haven't you? I have uh, a lot of dreams. A lot of but my first dream, I want to live together all my family, all my family, my parents, and my sister, and my wife, my son, but uh, in the quiet place, in the quiet country, like here in Kazakhstan, or maybe in Australia. I don't know why I love Australia, really. My second dream is uh, our music, uh, all the world listen to our music. I think that uh, maybe two years, three years, I don't know, maybe five years, I need to start to, to be the producer. I think that singers and musicians or artists need to know uh, when you need to stop. <laughs> live in your moment. When you are so popular, uh, when people say, why you live on the stage? Because uh, uh, new ways for new people, new talents. One of my dreams uh, became true uh, when I arrived here at Kazakhstan. Uh, our music, Latin music, Ten years ago, it was uh, not so popular, but uh, now it's so popular. Our Latin music, our Cuban culture, I'm so proud of this one. Uh, I say thanks Kazakhstan, say thanks our people you know, from Kazakhstan, because uh, they open mind, uh, arms for our music, for our culture. <laughs>